Hello Capricorn, your turn for your love reading. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I know a lot of you Taurus, or Taurus, <laughs> maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn. You know, you've gone through a lot of experiences, a lot of um, issues. Um, sadly, I had to unfriend a Capricorn friend who um, I had to let go completely because I try to be there. I try to, you know, be the friend with this person, um, but it's just no go. And it's really sad when, you know, this person really helped me. This person really encouraged me. Um, it was sad that I had to let her go off of Facebook because uh, recently she, um, she betrayed me in many ways. But then I find out, you know, I still have some Capricorns that are really good friends and really close to, but it just seems like whatever this <laughs> Capricorn, it's like everyone is different, you know, everyone, um, you know, I just had to accept that, you know, our journey had a part, you know, because, because she wasn't, she wasn't being everything I thought she could be, you know, it's not that I had too much expectation, and it just really hit me hard, because this one friend who's a Capricorn, you know, on Facebook, you know, you know, they show the notification that it's someone's birthday, well, I never got that, and it's really sad, and, you know, I had to let go of her, um, being friends, because, She helps me so much, overcome so much in my, you know, healing from my past traumas as a child, and letting her go is really hard for me. So this reading, I don't know what this reading is going to come up with your love reading, uh, but I'm letting her go. <coughs> Uh, it's just really hard because it's sad when people are in your life for only a short period of time to help you grow. And that's one thing we have to accept, especially when it comes to love dynamics, is people only will be temporary in our lives sometimes. I mean, not always, but things are only temporary and sometimes we hold on to things that aren't really healthy helping us it's more of a hindrance than helping us so uh, I don't know what the cards are going to say I did pre-shuffle the cards uh, I didn't want to make it out to be about me but uh, I just wanted to say you know some people we've had to let go of some people we've had to just cut ties with them because they're they're toxic for us or they're not really helping us <coughs> expand our life. They're hindering us in some ways. So maybe you've experienced that in your life. Anyways. Uh, let's see. What you are going through in the relationship. Whatever that may look like. Love relationship. The Queen of Swords. And this other person. What they're going through. In the relationship. Two of Cups. And then internally. What you're going through. So, all right, it's kind of what I said all of it. It's kind of emotional. Um, it looks like to me, Capricorn, you're you're becoming this Queen of Swords. I'm not saying all of you are Queens of Swords, cutting through the bullshit. Um, you're not accepting things in your life that aren't for your highest good. Um, so you're not in your element this month. I feel like. Especially in the cancer season. Um, but this is a love dynamic situation. So let's get back to that. So just a normal reading. But Queen of Swords. You know. I feel like you put defenses up. With this person that you're dealing with. According to love. Um, I just feel like. Maybe you're not speaking your truth. When it comes to this other person. Because you don't want to be too harsh with them. When you know. If I say this, it's not going to go well. If I say this, there's going to be conflicts. And you don't want conflicts either way. I just feel like, you know, 
in some cases, some of you have gotten to this Queen of Swords mode where you're sticking up for yourself and you're speaking your truth. You don't care who likes it or who doesn't. They're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> but I think for some of you, you know, you're not really speaking up about how you're truly feeling because of how this other person is. Now they have the Two of Cups. So I feel like it is a strong connection whatever that looks like to you whether you're in a committed relationship or not love or whatever they love you Capricorn I feel like ultimately they love you they love the friendship with you they love the connection with you they love when they can speak to you uh, but you have to be willing to accept them uh, I just feel like when you're defensive like this you know, you can't, maybe you're not opening up to the idea of this other person because maybe you know the truth. Maybe there's something with inside of you. You know damn right the truth about this other person. You know what's going on. You're not dumb. You're not blind. <laughs> you know, you're fully aware of what's going on. Uh, but this other person wants to give you another cup in exchange. They do love you. They do care about you. They ultimately, you know, want this relationship to work. Uh, but you have to be willing to put in the effort and the work to make things happen. Because I feel like uh, I was talking a while back with a cancer. She's with a Capricorn, so you could be with a cancer. Where... <clears throat> they weren't doing everything right, which I get that. You're not going to be perfect in a relationship. But I just felt like from their side, the person was being closed off. The person was distancing themselves. Um, so open up a little bit. Uh, you don't have to be so defensive, Capricorn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this person is offering you love. This person is offering they're everything to you but I just feel like some of you are defensive with it when it comes to this soul connection because it it opens up a whole new ball game for you it opens up your heart um, but I just feel like in some way you're just kind of defensive you're putting your guards up you're putting your wall yeah you're trying to keep your cool Capricorn you're trying to stay in your power. You're trying to work on you. You're trying to work on uh, everything when it comes to these fire elements. You know, you are the father of the zodiac. So I feel like you're you're doing what's best for you. People may not understand you at the moment, but I just feel like this love connection that you're inquiring about I just feel like you're focusing on your uh, stepping into your power stepping into what works for you and doing what's best for you this other person wants a new beginning with you um, but for whatever reason uh, you're you're really not focusing on it you're really not opening up for it uh, you know there could be some of you that wants this to work, wants things to work as a relationship should be, but sometimes, you know, you just got to focus on you, you know, uh, but I feel ultimately love is here for you, um, it's just a matter of are you willing to accept, it? are you willing to open your heart for this person to come in, because it's clearly here, you know, you know, whether it's friendship, whether it's marriage, whether it's family. Um, I just feel like you're kind of cold a little bit when it comes with this person. So try not to be cold. <laughs> you're too serious with them, man. I just, I don't know what it is. Anyway, let's get more into it. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Star Card. Alright, Capricorn, I think your focus on ultimately, you know, your happiness, ultimately, 
what benefits you in the long run, you know, Capricorns and all like that. And I just figured out, I have a lot of Capricorn placements in my chart, my bird chart, which like Uranus, uh, I think Saturn, um, like some other placements with a different planet. So I'm kind of partly Capricorn. I have some strong Capricorn placements. Um, so I feel like you're, you're focused on working on sustaining yourself, sustaining what works for you within the relationship, ultimately, you know, satisfies you. Um, but also too, I think some of you are hopeful, not all of you, but you're trying to be hopeful of the future. You're trying to be hopeful of new things things that you love, things that you enjoy, star could be, could love, you know, some of you are probably tired of being single, are tired of playing this, this type of role, um, but I feel like mostly Capricorns can do well with themselves, they're not like these signs like Pisces, where it's like they're, they're horrible on their own, you know, you can sustain yourself, you can satisfy yourself, with everything that you work hard for in uh, your job and your career and finances. Some of you have been dealing with those issues too. Um, but I feel like you're being hopeful. Knight of Pentacles. So maybe you're quite not ready for love. Um, some of you are. I feel like there's kind of vibersa. Uh, but I think it's just accepting those things. Yeah, you're holding on. You're holding on to dear life. Ten of Ten of Swords. For some of you that are in a relationship or a marriage, you feel like there's a lot of anxiety behind it. Especially holding on to things. Um, grudges, holding on to something of the past that didn't serve you well. Um, but you're not making a decision of you. I think some of you... You're unsure about 